to my advantage because most fighters are used to fighting opponents 6'3", 6'2", the average um, heavyweight. And I feel that I use it to my advantage because I move my head, I'm very quick, and I'm low to the ground, and it's very difficult to hit me. I get a lot of leverage for my punches, and it doesn't matter if I punch up or straight or down or around, I have good leverage. Jabbing is all to do with timing. If you throw your jab at the right time, you could be 5'6", and I'll jab a guy 6'4". When I was young, I used to always say, God, I'm just, I'm just a midget. I'm never going to grow. I'm never going to be anything because I'm too short to do any kind of sports, anything. But then, you know I mean? I started believing in myself, and things worked out right. And the way things worked out brought him here. This is the main event of the night. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Championship of the World. At age 20 years, 4 months, and 22 days, Mike Tyson could, with this win, become the youngest heavyweight champion ever, surpassing the record of Floyd Patterson. The key in this fight for Tyson is to be patiently aggressive, not to fling himself into clinches as he has done. The key for Burbick, in my judgment, is to hold him off and smother Tyson and hope for a long fight that wears him out. Then he can be in the hunt. Well, what is I feel is imperative for both fighters. Keep those hands hot. Both wearing black Burbick with the high black stockings. Left hook, Tyson. What Burbick's trying to do, he's trying to overpower Mike Tyson. And he's abandoned in doing what he normally does best, and that is to use his whole body, to use those broad shoulders. a big right hand by Tyson. This crowd is right into this fight, right at the bell. I would not be surprised when these guys go down because they're throwing big shots and both fighters are a little cold, a little stiff here. A little tight. Right hand, Tyson, and a left behind it. Burbick, as he told us he would, trying to go to the uppercut so far ineffectively. Big right hand, Tyson. Tyson has to be patient as Larry stated, because he's fighting a guy that's been in the ring with top caliber fighters. So he knows how to uh, get a breathing, get that second win going. Another big left hook by Tyson. I mentioned this earlier, but Tyson's, Tyson's punches even sound different than most heavyweights. Temple the uppercut by Mike Tyson. It wasn't a clean shot. Trevor appears to be trying to keep Tyson backing up, making him fight his fight. Another good left hand by Tyson. And a right behind it, and Burbick is rocked. Burbick in trouble here. Burbick just trying to get through the round. He's hurt, no question. That was a big, big round for Mike Tyson. Not only because he showed he had faster hands and beat Burbick to the punch, but because he did show the patient aggressiveness that we talked about earlier. I've been most honest to say that. He's been very calm. Looking like the body shot first, then the head. Look at that. Great round. Honestly. Tyson is everything that people could have hoped for in that round. 
Trevor Burbick, we should point out, has been down twice. There's another big shot by Tyson. Burbick in a heap of trouble. Down he goes. The punches are coming in such a succession that uh, Burbick can't deal with them. They're short, powerful, devastating punches. is still hurt. Trevor Burbick still seems to be not on solid legs at all here, Ray. Well, again, you notice that uh, my man is being patient. Tyson is being very, very patient, which was a big concern from a lot of other uh, boxing people. He's being patient against a, a guy that has a great deal of experience. He's not wasting any punches. Trying to tie Mike Tyson up here, just kind of hang on and get the cobwebs out. Oh, another big right hand, and Burbick is in trouble again. Tyson is perpetual motion, and the reason he's so dangerous, Burbick, because he continues to throw those punches. One thing I've noticed in Tyson, he actually turns southpaw because he can knock you out with either hand. He, get, he has good leverage because he keeps his, ba his balance. He missed with that uppercut, but didn't miss by much. Was a right to the body and an uppercut He's to the head, and Burbick is down. This one is going to be over, I believe. It's over. That's all, and we have a new era in boxing.